Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Starbase. How are you guys doing? And uh, welcome back. So today I was thinking we are going to work on the plating of this ship. And let me see if I... Am I stopping or am I... Am I going or coming or going? Uh, looks like we're moving a little. But anyways. Man, it's pretty out here. So uh, what I was thinking is we're going to do some plating today. I don't think it's going to be a very long episode or anything. Um... Because I've already went and sort of like developed the plating and things for the ship. Just, you know, pre-planned kind of the things. Sort of, uh, how can I put it, the looks of the plates. And what I want to do is sort of like a... I don't know, really know how to put it. But it's a little thing I had in my mind. I like to have plates that go like half moon. A crescent, yeah, there we go. A crescent around here of the size of the ship. And I did try to test it out with the current things I have. And it looks like I'm only going to have about four of these on the side. Four of those crescents. But it's not an issue, really. But it comes down to what I'm thinking. But the issue, what I'm thinking, is these sides over here, okay? They're these sides. I think I can try to make something that can fit in here. But I don't think that... We will see what, what I can do. You know, there's a lot of things we can do. But I, like I said in the beginning with the making of the ship, that I don't want to... Re I want to have this naked frame, you know? No plates or anything. But then, yeah, I think... Yeah, not, not really gonna have any plates or anything but then i decided like well if i'm going to use this ship i might as well i might as well have plates have this thing look sort of like something and what i also want the the whole idea of this ship is to have a like an automated mining ship and uh it, it should like have advanced technologies on it and all that kind of stuff you know and develop it ourselves that's that's the whole thing and I want to thank everybody who has been commenting on the, the making of the ship, giving some good ideas. And I think one of the employees of the KBOT company gave me some good pointers about this ship regarding its thrusters and whatnot. But as far as I understand, this thing, uh, it's its good. You know, it, it works as intended. And uh, yeah. Also, another thing with the weight testing. The, actually, it's much better to show it this way to you guys. It is a little bit dark for me, but this feels a bit more lighted. So it is fine to use, as far as I understand, your crates are the only ones that is going to be heavy in... Uh, I think I did rename it around here somewhere. Module crates, there we go. The only things that are going to be heavy is the crates coming and going. No idea if it's simulated in this game, if these... Propellant tanks go down in weight. They should, in my opinion, they should go down in weight, making your ship effectively lighter. And these fuel rods, I don't know if they also become lighter when you start using the fuel that is inside of them. No, oh, no, no, let me, there we go. And I, I thing about the weights and things, the maximum mass which you can add is 4,000. I think it, uh, that's 40,000, not 4,000, 40,000 kilograms. Usually, a ship would go around 29-ish, around there, or 23, 24, something around there. Not, not maximum mass, but you can. I would, I would suggest, you know, use the maximum mass. Go apply to selection. And if we go quickly, jump back into the ship. And another thing is, if your ship is sort of balanced, then all the thrusters should fire correctly at every state. You know what we can do? It's just this. The thrusters sh should fire correctly everywhere. And this is sort of the thing with this ship. It does. They the All the thrusters they do, the back ones, these ones, all of them, side thrusters and all. They do fire correctly, except for one. I don't know how to fix that. That is a little bit beyond my pay grade. 
I think this is in cruise mode. And then we can go ahead and say full power. And if we check out these guys. Oh, we got a follow. As we can see, you just have to rename your current thruster to like what I've done is the 01 here at the end. I just copy and pasted it into here and did it with all the other thrusters because each thruster will have a different name. If you use the thing, I'll show you guys in a second. The 14, I just added the 14 back there and it will show you the correct thrusts they are using. Uh, let's go over to this side. Huh. That is they're a bit off. I wonder what why that is, because this ship is sort of left side is equal to right side. Maybe top to bottom because of the I think the radiators aren't is there's radiators at the bottom but not on the top, you know? There is a gate core at the bottom but not on the top. I think that is that's what's going on over here. All right, let's quickly get out of here. And the tool I've used to automatically rename all the thrusters is over here. It's this thing, thruster field name tool, which will go ahead and automatically choose that. Name all device fields. I think you can go ahead and select all of the thrusters as well. Like if you have a modules, you can select all the modules and then select the thrusters. Yeah, I think you can do that if you wish all right so uh what we have here today is these plates so i've gone and tested them out a little and what we have if we pull this towards i think i did line it up correctly uh do yes no maybe so i think no they do work i just didn't want first of all um this you know, like, I didn't want an immediate to smack the plates. I just made double sure, like, these rangefinders are, you know, a little bit exceeded around the edge, um, hanging from the edge of this. And that's that. And what we can do is go ahead and just do this. That and number four. As we can see, four of these do fit in, but that's about it. So I'm just wondering about if I want to keep this middle piece or do I want that? Just, you know, just a big plate or do I want the small plate in between? The small plate is not an issue. They do have uh, their beams, which they can attach to. And that's about the most amount of plating I will add. To this ship like i said i want the naked frame we quickly go ahead and bring this back and use this one i think it is perfectly attached there yes now let's try to bring it as far to the right hand side as possible does it really go there it sort of does how far can we take this thing all the way yeah see now that, this is the issue this thruster is in the way so it will not. It's literally look at that. So we have to bring it over just one more. All right. Go and just put it a little extra. We can do this. Oh uh, no, they will. It will not work because they are not <laughs> correctly attaching. We need them to do this. So. Can we fit in? Not really, no. So also, one, two, three, four. I'm kind of digging this one with the plate in between of them. I think that is a better one to use. Because it would just feel more completed than this. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this one. So let me quickly do that and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So it didn't take too long, uh, thanks to that I have already prefabricated the plates or the looks of it. It just took a little bit of time painting them. And voila! Well, not that. Here we go. 
here we go this is what i came up with it's not much but it's something you know at least it's got some sort of look to it i kind of like it i wish it uh for lack of better word i wish it bulged a little bit more <laughs> um bended i think is the correct term like just a little bit more a little bit more smooth but yeah, beggars can't be choosers, I guess, you know. So I think that's, that's that. It looks good. A little bit of plating. A bit of looks. Like I said, this ship is not supposed to win any beauty contests. It's not there to compete with other ships. This is a ship that I want to make autonomous. All the latest systems on board. All those sorts of things. It's fast. It's an auto miner. All that kind of jazz. So I'm happy. I really like it. Go ahead and I think that yeah, that switch is on. Turn around and then just, you know, fly. I like it. I hope you guys do it as well. It looks like there's a bunch of asteroids right there. Fly towards it, but I don't think there's gonna be anything. Yeah, it's just the looks. Like how it would sort of quote unquote look like if there was there were asteroids in this simulation but yeah i'm i'm very happy about the plates and things looks really good i like it don't know how more how i can say about it but yeah, it's it, it's grown on me i like it so i think next episode what we're gonna do is work on the yolo code a little bit and somebody did mention to me that right Come back here. Hmm, I think snapping is turned off. Hmm. Weird. Oh, there it goes. Get you back in there. Okay, so the YOLO code, somebody did mention what we're gonna do for the rangefinders is uh, if you guys looked at the previous episode or one of the episodes where we made the rangefinder the asteroid assistance avoidance system that code can actually be divided up into four of these chips and if we can do that then the system will always be updated instead of running from one line to like one 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 like five lines to go back up it will always be on one line the whole time. I kind of like that idea. It keeps the system a bit more updated. And there is another URL code I quickly want to write, which will we do in the next episode. It's more of like a a timer, like an internal timer for the ship, where we can sort of get a couple of things going for us. You guys know what I mean. It will open up a few more doors or options. I think that will be swell. But anyways, people, I think that's it for me. Thanks so much for joining me here on Starbase. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.